And more than two years away from our screens, last month, DS Lisa Armstrong returned to uh, crack another case in the Bay. As the drama continues to unfold, in just a moment, we'll be talking with star Sharon Small. But first, if you've not been watching, here's what you've been missing. Do you have any idea who might have done this, Rose? You won't take me somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Still my kids. I have a right. Oh, uh, no. What if he's changed? People don't change. No more pain and no more shame and misery. Now go on! But if there's bad blood in this family, we need to know about it. You can't break me down. Where were you yesterday afternoon? You can't take me down. You can't break me down. When he breaks your heart, when he breaks the kids' hearts again, don't come running to me. Not every day you retire. Whoever it was, they knew what they were doing. Oh, they did know what they were doing. And Sharon Small, who plays Rose, uh, joins us now. And it's lovely to see you. So you weren't in the first series, watched it, however. So when you got that call to ask if you'd want to be part of this, I bet you jumped at it. I did. I was really looking forward to it. I'd, um, good morning, by the way. Hi. Good morning. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, I'd worked with Marvin before and Dan on other tellies before. So, well, actually, I'd done theatre with Marvin and... I was really looking forward to working with them and I knew what a good show it was. So, yeah, and I was looking forward to doing a Northern Accent as well. Yeah, yes. So, um, so based in Morecambe, and it's done wonders for Morecambe, apparently. Um, and when we're all yeah. allowed to travel, I think it's going to be a very, very busy place. My auntie Doris came from Morecambe, <laughs> as a matter of fact. <laughs> Love the potted shrimps. Uh, so, uh, so the uh, so the accent is um, is you were it was actually your the, the little boy plays your son who was helping you out with that, wasn't it? Yeah. He's got a, an authentic Lancashire accent, so uh, I was listening to him. And we got someone who did a, a sort of Zoom. You have to do everything on Zoom nowadays. Uh, so I did a sort of Zoom voice lesson as well with a wonderful woman called Birdie. And so I had something to go to, but, yeah, he kept me on the straight and narrow all the time. So just explain a little bit about who you play, because, I mean, it's a sta you don't have to watch series one to be able to enjoy series two, although it's definitely worth catching up on. And you play Rose, and you see straight in the first episode this murder takes place within the household very, very quickly. And this sort of has a huge effect on her because she's very, very family-focused, she's worried about her child. There's something weird going on with the family business. Yeah, so, and we're just getting into that now uh, as we go into Ep 4, as you start to have more secrets revealed. And, but yeah, it, I mean, it's a really shocking thing. And obviously Stephen playing the role of my husband, which was shocked to kill him off straight away, which um, was a lovely little uh, secret from the director as Stephen walked on set. And um, yeah, so really sort of shocking uh, opening and... Yeah, so it's about grief in the kind of the first half of it for Rose. And then uh, as you start to see some of the reasons behind why this might have happened and uh, the intrigue that might have our family has got mixed up in. I got terribly confused when Stephen Tompkinson gets shot dead <laughs> in the first five minutes. Because then I'm thinking we're up to episode four now and I'm thinking... There's going to be some retrospective thing here. I mean, he's, he's, he's going to be back in. Um, I, I'm not holding out a lot of hope for this. So was he just passing by and they said, <laughs> do you, do you, oh, oh, Stephen, do you want to come and just be shot here? And then uh, how did that happen? Yeah, he was just visiting Markham, standing by Eric, Eric's statue, you know, and we just pulled him in. Um, no, I think he knows the director, Rob Quinn, and they thought it would be good to put someone of his stature into the role. And I'm not going to tell you if he's coming back or not. OK. We'll have to uh, wait and see. Want to know. <laughs> well, that's The Bay, ITV tomorrow <laughs> at nine o'clock. Um, you, beside doing all the acting, you're very busy at the moment, homeschooling like lots of parents. How are you finding it? An absolute nightmare. I can't oh. tell you. It, uh, my poor children have had to be moved out of this room today. They're around a coffee table in the other room. Uh, just sort of stuck to their computers. And, mm. yeah, I mean, thankfully, we're a bit more online now, but trying to get two boys in high school to come to a table every day while you try and catch up with what they're actually being taught, physics, chemistry, which is starting to go above my head now, and uh, and try to get them to be really engaged is quite tough. Yeah. And I the hardest thing about lockdown, yeah. and they've been amazing, absolutely amazing, but... It's really tough. They can't get out. They can't, you know, uh, there's no 
school lessons to just mess about with their friends even you know and get something different it's just like uh, yeah looking yeah. listening and then uh, they're obviously uh, you'd want to get back to work and they want to get back to school, see their mates. Um, and uh, you were going to do the prime of Miss Jean Brodie, which you'd always wanted to do in the oh. West End. That got obviously got knocked on the head because of COVID. Are there plans to bring that back or is that one that just slipped away? I think that's just gone into the ether. I would have loved to have played that role. Um, sort of romantic fascist. I think it's really timely at the moment with you know, a sort of right wing leaning happening and growing in this country. So, and all over the world, really. So I would like to have explored that. But uh, I think that's gone. Well, well let's get out just... there in the universe. It may well yeah, she do. Wants to do it. She still wants Come to do it. Come on, make it happen. The yeah. <laughs> Sharon, it's so lovely to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. At nine on ITV uh, and the full series is on The Hub.